use Mozilla Firefox because <coughs> you can select no style all the style goes away and you can observe what a partially blind person would hear if he is using a reader or you can observe what would happen to your style sheet here is the view that we would see if we select no style and you can see that without the style it's just a cascade it's, it's just one page after another there are no links and nothing else and on the web page itself another thing to observe is that we have a little asterisk next to the default tab that's open that means that we have to save this page because the changes have been made we can click on this icon to save the page or go to file and then select save the page as well or save so that if you click the save icon the new content is saved and the asterisk goes away finally of the internet of course is our ability to navigate to other pages on our website or on the web but what do we do if we wanted to add a new page and then add navigation links you may not agree with this approach but it's relatively easy to add a new folder and then a new HTML page in that folder we will do this right now click on folder the icon and you'll see a new folder is added it's a good idea to uh, name that folder let's call it video or something right away with a new folder created in our folder list if we click on page we will generate an, un generate an untitled .htm page to add to our site it's a good idea to name the folder and the page that we've created immediately so let's call the folder video and the new file video.htm or the new page next we want to link the video page to our navigation bar to do this we have to open the dynamic web template file and then we will add a new page to it to add a page let's go let's go up to the code view and just make a copy of an, an other an, of another page that we have there we have to change the folder name the name of the file and the name of the button and then hit save when we do that expression web prompts us then to associate these files with the master dynamic web template the final result will look like this we have a new list a anchor h reference to video folder slash video dot htm then after that is the word video and if we look to the left we will see video now as one of the choices in our navigation bar so we now have a new link to a new page in our own website in addition all the all the pages in the web are linked together now okay we are still working with the organization 6 template just changing things around so that we can observe the effect in the code and on our page so let's replace a photo if we want to replace a photo in our template we need to find the size of each photo and then use a photo editor to resize a new photo that we're going to use to replace the old photo so if we want to replace the photo that is in the template we need to find the length and width of the photo
If we look at the line of code associated with the original source photo, we'll see that it had a width of 320 pixels and a height of 256 pixels. So we need a web editor and a photo from our file that we will then edit and reduce to the size. When we insert it, however, sometimes we'll see such things as this. A red underline indicating that there is an error here. It does not conform to the W3C standards. And a flag is set in the status bar. So how do we troubleshoot errors? First of all, you can click on the image itself to view a, a video here of how to go about that. And it might be the, sh the quickest way to do it. So click on the video, on the uh, photo.